good Sunday morning. I had a wonderful, glorious sleep. I don't usually sleep late. I'm usually up by five or six, and it was wonderful to actually sleep in until almost nine o'clock this morning. So I am starting the day back at the storage shed. If you remember yesterday, we went down to the boat. I did a, a coat of paint down in the uh, forward part of the bilge. Um, uh, I did a couple other things that are completely escaping me right now. Uh, and then today, what I want to do is I want to cut the marine grade plywood for that flooring inside of the galley seats where I had to replace the stringers and whatnot. Um, unfortunately, I just looked and I left my jigsaw down at the boat and I don't want to have to haul the entire 4 by 8 sheets of marine grade plywood down there. So I did uh, rough measure all this out and draw it out in a sketch. Of course, nothing's a 90 degree angle. It's a boat, right? So, uh, so I'll cut these things roughly. Um, I'll use a table saw and then that might mean I have to carry them down there and then trim some of the curves and whatnot. Um, the, the parts that are going to be a little harder to cut with a table saw or even the band saw that won't fit in the opening. Uh, I'll take it down to the boat and we'll adjust them there. So let's start getting all my crap pulled out and hopefully the clouds stay just enough to keep that sun from beating down. It's still a little bit warm uh, and it's alternating between you know blazing hot and then as soon as the shade hits it, it, it warms or cools down real quick. So I've got my setup right here behind me. I got the table saw set up and a table, and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I marked out the first one. I'm gonna get it cut up and see how it looks. All right, so I've got the first cut down. I wanted to go ahead and do it because frankly, this is the first time I've actually used this table saw. So it was interesting when Dan and Joan first moved down here, Dan really wanted to help with some boat projects. He ended up getting sick and he bought this table saw so him and I could work on stuff together. So in honor of you, Dan, first cuts with it. All right. Well, I've got the pieces cut. Um, for the most part, they're cut. I'm going to take um, I'm going to take the pieces down to the boat. I'm going to dry fit them. And there's a couple of sort of rounded pieces that I'm going to cut out with my better jigsaw, which I left down there. The one I have here is, quite frankly, it's pretty trashy. Um, it's a really old Ryobi single speed dull blade. I've got the good one down there. Um, so anyway, I'm going to going to head on down there and start getting some trimming work done on these. So that piece of wood is cut to go in that opening. It doesn't really look like it's going to fit. Well, it looks like it's about to start raining like a two poodered cow pissing on a flat rock. So I'm getting out of here before it starts getting really wet. I've got all my marine grade plywood out here. It's not primed or epoxied yet, so I want to get it in the car before it gets wet. Uh, yeah, but dry fitting, everything seems to look pretty good. I got one more piece to cut. Well, it's relaxing. Got back to the camper and we are enjoying a little bit of time out here. Got a little bit of chicken breast that's been marinating today on the grill and uh, that rain I said I was looking at the boat looks like it's coming this way. I can hear thunder in the distance, so hopefully the chicken finishes before the downpour comes, but it's beautiful out here. Let me show you around. Nice little wooded place. It's a nice setup. Ignore the smoke there, it's just over the grill. So what I really like is this. So here, I'm gonna move this over this way and show you on this side. Kind of just right here on the edge of the woods. The other morning I came out here about six in the morning, a couple of deer just standing right in this grass right here. It was beautiful. Nice little path heading out this way. Looking pretty good. I wish there was smell-o-vision, you'd like that. <laughs> Is that the Kiki challenge? Yes. Sing it one more time for me. Kiki, do you love me? Are you wired? You've never seen me beside me. <laughs> 
a good Saturday morning. So it's back to uh, boat work, and I got a bunch of little things I'm going to try and get done today. And I knew if I didn't write them down somewhere on a list, they wouldn't get done. So I've got a list of things I need to pick up at the storage shed. I want to epoxy around the butterfly hatch where I'm going to bed new glass. I need to bed the glass. I need to get the bedding compound from here. I need new brushes, new rollers. Uh, I need a little bit more acetone for cleaning some of the bilge before I paint it. I want to screw down the flooring that I cut and made um, and, and get that dry fit and put in place. Uh, I need to get some nuts and some washers. I want to bolt the main sheet traveler, which I've been saying I feel like for weeks now. Uh, I need to bed the uh, sheet connection point for the inner stasel. I probably won't get to putting the boom on today, but I'm getting closer with that. Um, so just a whole host of small projects I need to kind of move forward on and get this stuff going. So I'm at the storage shed to pick up these painted floor pieces and uh, get them loaded in the car. All right, so I ran by the store. I grabbed some paint rollers, some nuts, some stainless steel washers uh, to do the bedding up here of the Traveler. Um, I picked up some clamps to go ahead and clamp wires in place when I drive put this floor in. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is... Um, I had taken some twine, essentially jute rope, and tied some of the lines up off of the floor, off the hull, so that I could paint underneath where this uh, sole is going to go. I think the first thing I'm going to do is I bought some um, cl some uh, clamps. I'm going to put those on. That way the wires can sit suspended in that as opposed to um, sitting actually down on the sole itself. I'm also going to mount some clamps uh, above the flooring where some of the electrical wire will go. And I wanted to put it above the flooring so it was a little bit more serviceable when I uh, need to do some electrical work on the boat, which I know I will have to do down the road. So that's kind of where we're at. Um, let me go ahead and get some of these clamps done, and then I'll get up there and dry fit these pieces of wood down in here. And it is blazing hot. I fired up the generator so I could run the air conditioning down here. I don't think the one air conditioner is going to keep it cool, but I, I literally feel sweat running down my legs, my chest, and my arms already. I've been down here 15 or 20 minutes, so it's a hot one. All right, I went ahead and bolted the cables up to the bottom side of the beams. I have some more tied out of the way. Those are gonna go above the flooring. So now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna get the pieces of floor and put them in here. All right, so I'm gonna put this down in here. So I've got the two panels in there. They're dry fit. They work. The battery on my darn drill is dead, so I can't actually screw them down right now. But the good news is they're in place. I think I am going to lay down there. Well, with the screwdriver dead, I can't even put the rest of the clamps up. So that'll have to sit like it does. I'll let this charge, and I'll work on, I'll work on bedding this bar up there. So this piece sits right in here. And... Like that. So with a dead screwdriver, I'm heading up with a hand screwdriver. All right, I'm up from the boat, and now I want to start preparing the um, surface where I'm going to bed the glass down into the butterfly hatch. If you recall earlier, I had scraped all the old finish and silicone and uh, different types of caulking material been used over the years, and I could tell there were several different types. Um, I went ahead and scraped all that out, kind of scraped it down to bare wood with a cart scraper. And now before I bed the glass down in there, I think I'm going to paint a thin layer of epoxy on it just to give it a good... Um, waterproof seal between the wood and the uh, sealant. That's that's the way I intend to do it. Let me kind of show you what I did to prep the uh, wooden frame. So as you can see, me, each place where the glass is going to go in has um, tape around it. I've taped along the top edge so I don't get any epoxy on the varnished wood. I also taped along the bottom side. So if I flip this up, you can kind of see how I did this on the bottom side of it. And really, again, it's just because I don't want any drips to form along the bottom side of that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a small craft brush. I intend to just use one of these small craft brushes. I, I find these things really helpful to use. They're 
I'll put a link down in the description. There's whole packages of them on Amazon for a couple of bucks, but it lets me paint the epoxy right in this area here. And I'll do that on all four of the frames. And then while the epoxy is still hot, I'll peel all the, or while it's still wet, I will peel all the tape off and it'll give me a nice surface there. <laughs> All right, I've painted the thin layer of epoxy in there and um, peeled off the tape. So I think I'm actually gonna go in the shower real quick, wash off, and then I gotta head over and get some more bolts and nuts. All right, we'll show a before and after here. I've just been working on the head here and hooked up the head to the new through hole. Then we've got in the double berth over here. We're gonna try and get all this painted white. We're getting there. Give the background noise i got the motor running but you can see here in this particular bunk room i got the bilge painted there around the mask and then i did the same thing down here in the head i got bilge coat on that i opted to leave the walls gray below the floor right there just because this is a uh, lattice floor and i didn't want it to look white right up to the very edge i kind of figured i'd leave the darkness there and just the white bottom but on this one i did paint the insides of the beams there um, on this part of it. I had a little bit of paint still left over and poured out, so I started this section here to get going down in the engine room. And I still have to do the feet part of the build starting down there. It's now time to get back into my hidey hole and finish the very last part of putting that flooring in the battery compartment. Um, I still have another piece to make, but I'm not gonna worry about that right now. I've got the other ones in there. I need to bolt and screw them down to the actual beams. And then I have some cable runs that I'm gonna hold all the cables up underneath the cabinetry uh, so they're out of the way. So let me get in there and do that. And then I'll show you what it looks like when we're done. All right, so here's what we look like. And you can see I just have two batteries sitting in there right now. This is where the large battery bank will go when I finish doing it. You might be able to notice that small little hole right there. That's actually part of an exhaust port, not get, uh, air exhaust, not uh, engine exhaust. So it's a, a hose, a four inch wide hose that goes down from the engine compartment and runs out the back of the boat uh, just to expel any um, fumes that might be in there from you know, diesel from the engine itself, from oil, whatever. So it doesn't get into the cabinet. And while I've been working on the floor and getting everything ready underneath, um, Deb also went and had new cushions made for the galley. Uh, we were originally going to do all white, the white leather sort of leather look, just like we have in the rest of the boat. But we decided to, to do something a little darker in here. Um, we have maroon accents with the table covers and, and just some areas inside the galley that are maroon color. That combined with a four-year-old, we figured it might be better to do something dark so that any stains or spills may not quite show up as obvious on it. So uh, Deb has this nice sort of maroonish marble looking um, covers and all those cushions are done. We put them uh, at home just until we get done with all the work here before we bring them down and put them on the, on the galley. I hope you enjoyed this week's video as we finished up the galley sole underneath the salon seats. We put those batteries back in. It's not much, but they're certainly in. If you did enjoy it, do us a favor, go ahead and give it a like and a thumbs up. Share it with your friends on social media. It really does help us grow the channel a little bit. And come back next week when we finish bedding the butterfly hatch and we get very, very close to getting the boat out of the yard finally. <laughs>